Hello chess friends and welcome to you out of chess channel and welcome back to our Queen's Game Decline studies. So in these studies we have seen some great openings and great defenses after the first moves d4, d5 and c4 and today we continue with our Queen's Game Decline studies and the so-called Lasker defense. So if you're watching maybe one of my videos for the first time or if you're watching maybe this Queen's Game Decline studies for the first time let me explain you what's all about. So I've created this uh, separate playlist of the Queen's Game Decline. We have covered many important openings like the Chigorin defense, Tata defense, semi Tata defense, Vienna variation, Aguas defense, Cambridge Springs defense and many many more. So um, this playlist is I think uh, really one of my most important uh, studies here on my YouTube chess channel. Here's the link of the playlist and you can really have fun and great preparation in the Queen's Game Decline. Everything is for free so you don't need to be a member or something. Just uh, follow the course and I think you could have really really great preparation in the Queen's Game Decline. So we are continuing with our Lasker defense series uh, in my two previous videos of the Queen's Game Decline studies, um, we have covered ideas of the Lasker defense, which are very, very important. I think this Lasker defense approach has to be known, uh, but in my opinion, there are still so many, many weaknesses of the Lasker defense. So in my opinion, it's something that you should try to avoid. I've explained it also previously why, what are the problems of the Lasker defense. Now we'll see actually how to dismantle, how to destroy the Lasker defense in a beautiful uh, game played by uh, um, Hikaru Nakamura against uh, Fabiano Caruana. In this game, um, here Hikaru Nakamura played with such a great accuracy he played here almost like the stockfish and he didn't play any inaccuracies mistakes or blunders he dismantled destroyed Caruana's Lasker defense in a really beautiful sharp tactical way so if you're bothered if you have problems maybe against the Lasker defense this game you can really use as your cornerstone uh, this game you can have I think great preparation against the, the this annoying defense by black so let's see now what is the Lasker defense and what was this cool approach by Hikaru Nakamura against Fabian Caruana. So after move d4, d5, we play of course c4, the queen's gambit, and then here um, Caruana played the move e6, the queen's gambit declined, knight to f3, knight to f6, knight to c3, and after bishop to e7, bishop to g5, we have now the move h6, and after bishop to h4, retreating, kingside casting e3, and now comes the Lasker defense move, knight to e4. And okay, this move is making already already many things. First of all, what this move is doing is a simplification. We have to agree, I think. Uh, the knights will be probably traded off, the bishops will be traded off with one move. Basically, a black is forcing two trades of minor pieces, which is, of course, a simplified way to go into the game, which is, of course, um, positional approach to at least get a drawish position, to get at least a draw which in many top grandmaster level games i think you want to get with the black pieces of course everyone would be satisfied except maybe magnus carlson to get a draw against hikaru nakamura but i think as i said this move knight to e4 simplifies the game enough for black although um, there are uh, the simplification ideas what i don't like many times in the lasker defense for black if you trade off now the pieces if you trade off the knight on e4 if you trade off the bishop on e7 black is left many times uh, with this light or bishop which is paralyzed a little bit notice here by its own pawn structure so this uh, bishop is paralyzed by this structure it cannot go easily into the game and white is already here a solid structure will play rook to c1 and will have i think also a decent attack on the c file so as i said although it's a good line maybe to simplify the game, but I don't think that black can gain so many tactical opportunities out of this opening. So in the continuation, Hikaru accepts the challenge. He says, okay, let's go into this line. Bishop to e7, Caruana takes. And you see now, okay, the main goal is now for black to play knight to c6, maybe knight to d7, and hit the center with the move e5. But now after move c takes d5, you have to now already make a reaction. After move knight to c3, we have now b takes c3. And after e takes d5, we have reached now the common position of the Lasker defense and we have covered already a beautiful game played by uh, Wesley Topalov against Anand in which Anand uh, really destroyed Topalov uh, with the black pieces uh, in the Lasker defense but I have to say it, this w win by uh, Vichy Anand I don't want to underestimate of course Vichy Anand's win but I think this win was really caused by many tactical mistakes that um, Topalov made in the game so you can also check out uh, the game it was our last video of the Queen's Game Decline studies now if move e takes d5 notice that white is here a powerful center with this pawn and basically what we're trying to do here from white perspective is to advance our backward pawn on c3 but uh, c4 um, uh, 
is I think not so good if you play immediately because you're vulnerable a little bit on dark war. So that's why I would not recommend it uh, here to play it immediately. Probably um, this game would lead into something like this. Bishop to e6. Notice now that finally the light war bishop is playing and finally you can play rook to c1. Maybe something like c6 building a firm pawn structure. And actually black doesn't have to even protect the b7 pawn because still you're vulnerable here uh, with your king in the center. Knight to d7. Look at this. If you play queen to b7, rook to b8, queen to a6 queen to b4 is going to happen so um you should not advance the pawn before you at least have secured the king by castle and that's i think the downside about this line so after he takes d5 uh, here he caro kept it calm he said okay i have a great light square bishop now i will castle and then i will eventually play the move c4 if in some occasions black tries some ideas of a6 b5 to paralyze somehow your potential c4 idea in the later stage of the game you have always the opportunity to push the pawn on a4 and maybe even open the a file in some occasions the rook could be also hanging on the a file so if a6 b5 happens then we just hit the queen side with the move a4 and i think you could have also a solid structure then on the queen side so as i said c4 is our main goal but you should wait with this move not play it immediately because your king is still vulnerable on e1 so in the continuation c5 uh played by um, the, um, fabiano caruana we have now kingside castling you don't want to take of course d takes c5 it invites your opponent's queen into the game you have then a weak c3 pawn so this is not the way to go so after kingside castling uh fabiano goes with knight to c6 c4 here for black would be also risky it's tempting but i think this is already a positional mistake by by black will eventually play bishop to c2 and now our main goals are really easy to find i think for black for white e4 rook to e1 knight to e5 and eventually if we manage to break and enter with the move e4 then we could create ourselves a supported pass pawn on the d file so e5 e4 i think is the main and crucial goal here if you manage to do this in a good way i guarantee you a good game so in my opinion c4 is something also that black should try to avoid so that's why caruana played here a knight to c6 maybe later like white delayed the move c4 previously black should also delay the move c4 at least for a while maybe you can play a6 b5 maybe b4 maybe in the later stage c4 could come as a surprise if you let the spawn roll on the queen side but not immediately as i said here caruana plays i think a solid game first develops his minor pieces and then he's searching maybe for some queen side activities because we have to say it, there is a three versus two pawn majority on the queen side by black so maybe can black can make something in this position but hikaru is not allowing this scenario he's saying i will break and enter the position here with the move e4 anyway because the queen now is a little bit a little bit exposed on the e file so rook to d8 uh, fabiano gets also the rook where white queen is so now if something gets cleared of course also a white queen could be in danger but here hikaru doesn't care he plays now the move e4 usually of course hikaru doesn't care at all uh, after move e4 we have now the move d e takes e4 of course you cannot play c takes uh, d4 because e takes d5 leads into a discovery attack against the queen and you lose decisive material so that's why after move e4 we have now d takes e4 bishop to e4 and there is now of course uh this discovered check possibility with bishop to h7 so that's why uh, fabiano uh, escapes from the e file and has now also a great tension around the square default which basically forces now this move d5 by hikaru nakamura if queen to c3 happens now then rook to c1 leads it again into a complicated game for black so that's why after move d5 we have now knight to e7 uh, by fabiano caruana and now c4 by hikaru nakamura and what this move c4 is doing now already it creates now a supported passport which means now if this game reaches now the fully end game stage without minor pieces without rooks uh, i think this could be a winning end game here for um uh, for white because of this supported passer so this is now the way to go also what it creates is i think a strategic problem of the light square bishop because now the white's light square bishop is a little bit paralyzed by its own pawn structure so now in many occasions black will go into a knight versus bishop endgame where black is hoping to get some kind of a blockade knight to c8 maybe knight to d6 and creating a blockade against the supported pass pawn because many times the strategic goal to beat 
uh, this uh, supported pass pawn is of course to create a blockade in front of this pawn not allow uh, here white to advance the pawn to d6 so this becomes now really a supported pass pawn middle game strategy uh, battle here between Hikaru Nakamura and Fabiano Caruana with the downside of course for Hikaru that he has a bad bishop on e4 it's of course still flexible it still can attack many things here but uh, the structure c4 d5 is not allowing here uh, the, the light square bishop to be even more active in the game so that's why i think so far also a good strategy here by fabiano caruana so here the continuation bishop to g4 and as we said fabiano is trying to play bishop to f3 bishop to f3 force a knight versus bishops middle game where he could maybe uh, create this blockade idea on d6 so with the move bishop to g4 there is now really this position threat of bishop takes f3 a simple trade of pieces but now hikaru plays i think brain chess queen to b3 after bishop to f3 he's saying okay i'm allowing you this stuff that you are preparing i literally don't care of course i think he would say something like this bishop to f3 and then for bishop to f3 uh, we have now this problem of knight to f5 and of course you would love to play now knight to d6 and if you would cement somehow the position with knight to d6 b6 this would be a perfect knight versus bishop's middle game but there is not even a good way to protect your pawn on b7 because notice in this sequence the pawn on b7 is hanging so even if you play let me see here rook from a to b8 the problem is now you get simply this one queen to a3 and that's the beauty about this um, ideas that uh, were produced by hikaru nakamura queen to a3 hitting both of the pawns one will lose for sure so this is not working if you play rook from d to b8 if you're trying maybe to protect your a7 pawn and somehow fix the position with the move b6 then the brilliant move is bishop to g4 and you're not allowing this knight to come on d6 maybe to f5 or to c8 you see as we said the main goal the main concept is here the blockade uh against this supported passer so knight to c8 or knight to f5 could of course uh, be useful for black in order to get the knight to d6 but now the move bishop to g4 prevents this idea and if you play of course bishop to f5 will simply pick it up after queen to f5 we have reached now this end game that i've talked about uh in the middle of this video uh, we have now created the supported pass bond. so the actual simplification of blacks is causing now i think many many headaches here for black because now with the supported pass bond, i think this could be a much much better continuation for white i'm not saying winning but um black will have many many problems in the game for sure we'll play a4 will not allow b5 b5 could be of course very dangerous for white then of course this pawn is deflected from the defense of the d5 so in my opinion this queen to b3 move was brilliant here by hikaru queen to b3 hitting the pawn but not only hitting the pawn also we have seen c5 is weak and also in some occasions the pawn on a7 is weak so now fabiano played bishop to f3 bishop to f3 and he says it's time now for me to make at least this goal to play this blockade but but i will eventually sacrifice the pawn it's i think even a decent idea here by uh, fabiano uh, hikaru accepted the challenge now after 90 d6 you see fabiano was just one move too late in order to play this beautiful blockade idea after 90 d6 queen to c6 hikaru is now hitting another pawn if you play of course here knight to c4 then we simply pick up this one and with the d6 d7 will let this pawn roll this pawn is supported we have still this weakness on a7 so okay maybe as i said black can still battle but we can agree this could be a winning end game here for white so that's why after move queen to c6 uh, we have now rook to c8 uh, fabiano is not allowing to um, uh, lose this pawn on c5 we have now queen to a6 protecting all, also the pawn on c4 uh, here g6 was played uh, we have now uh, rook to b1 and now rook to d8 we have queen to c6 a very very tricky move here by uh, hikaru uh, of course knight to c4 is not working because we'll simply pick up the queen so so far good defense also by hikaru nakamura rook to c8 we have queen to a6 rook to d8 and now rook to e3 and from this point on hikaru 
uh, played this perpetual moves, but now he found a, a brilliant idea how to get the pieces back into the shape. Because here after move queen to d4 that um, Fabiano played, we have bishop to e2, protecting now, of course, uh, this, um, this pawn twice. And the problem for black is also that black cannot compete with his rook on the e-file because the knight is losing a little bit on d6. So actually, Fabiano Caruana has to stuck onto his blockade against this supported pass pawn, so he has to play still this blockade with the knight on d6. So in the continuation, we have now knight to f5, we have rook to b3, and look how uh, Hikaru played the game in a beautiful way. Now he doubled up the rooks on the b-file, still he has a great protection of the c4, and he has now a dominant position on the b-file. He has still, of course, possibility to launch an attack against uh, the pawn on c5, so from this point on, I think the game becomes simply a one-way ticket in white's favor. So, knight to d6, we have rook to d1, kick away the queen, queen to f6, queen to a5, uh, we have now rook to e8, attacking the bishop, and bishop to f1. So now, the bishop is protecting still the pawn on c4, and there are no uh, checkmate threats on the back rank, because the bishop is also supporting now the first rank. So here we have rook to c8, uh, we have g3, we have queen to f5. This move is a little bit bad for black because uh, the queen is not connected anymore to the defense of the knight. Here we have queen to uh, d2 by um, Hikaru Nakamura. He is attacking now the pawn on h6, but he's also threatening some annoying ideas of bishop to d3. So we have now the move h5, rook to a3. Brilliant move here by Hikaru. He's trying now to get this rook on a3 where he could attack, of course, the powerful knight on d6. This knight on d6 is holding the whole position now for black. If somehow the knight move, uh, the knight moves, of course, then we have this position where we can push the pawn, and this could be then, of course, devastating here for black. So rook to e8, rook to a6, or knight to e4, queen to f4. Good choice here again by Hikaru. He's saying, okay, maybe I will create a double pawn structure, but now the game is simple fight you don't want to have of course this position where the queen and knights are dancing in front of your king so i think trading off the queens simplifying the uh, game in this uh, way was really brilliant and now the knight is not supported anymore on d6 now there is a clear path for the pawn and from this point on as i said there's nothing that can be done i think black is already lost here so rook to b8 the rook takes a7 uh, the position is really falling apart again this idea rook to a6 knight to f5 uh, hikaru simply attacks the pawn on c5 rook to e4 and now he simply pushed the pawn further this pawn is protected even if you of course play rook takes f4 it doesn't matter we play d7 uh, rook to c8 and there's nothing that can be done anymore uh, in order to protect the position so in the continuation we have now uh, after move d6 uh, rook to d8 was played by uh, fabiano d7 anyway again rook to c8 is the threat so that's why the king has to come closer but now simply rook takes c5 we have now this idea rook to f4 but now with bishop to h3 uh, the knight gets attacked we have knight to d4 and now again this beautiful idea rook to c8 the king has to come closer but now this pawn is rolling look at this this bishop is supporting everything we have now the move g5 here um, fabiano is trying of course somehow to lock the bishop with the move g4 but now rook to e1 a check knight to uh, e6 bishop to e6 and after f takes e6 c6 in this position uh, Fabiano Caruana resigned two connected passers here on the C and D file already on the sixth and seventh rank they are unstoppable uh, so it was simply game over here for for black for sure so incredible game by um, Hikaru Nakamura let's go back uh, to the critical moment I think um, that was very important d5 then after knight to e7 c4 creating the supported pass pool we have seen the potential blockade idea, knight to f5, knight to d6 was Caruana's goal and um, uh, uh, and uh, Hikaru sensed the problem, uh, played queen to b3, paralyzed the whole queen side with this simple move, created many structural weaknesses on the queen side and eventually grabbed the pawn on b7 and went to do favorable endgame. Incredible game, this is the way to go. Oh, you see, chess is not one only with some immortal tactics. These are tiny little uh, squares that um, uh, Hikaru searched in the game. He found his opportunities. He uh, pushed through when it was time. Incredible game, in my opinion. Really a game worth to memorize, worth to uh, maybe 
uh, add into your already playlist of the Queen's Game decline because this is really, really instructive how Hikaru played the game. So, okay, I hope that you enjoyed the study. I really enjoyed it a lot. Interesting ideas of the Lasker defense. You see really the problems of the Lasker defense. I've explained in my previous videos when we should actually use um, the Lasker defense ideas in some different positions. I've explained it in this anti Cambridge Springs defense setups that actually it would be then possible to play this uh, Lasker defense idea. So, as I said, in my opinion, it's very risky to play the Lasker defense too early. You can play it in the later stage of the game. So, as I said, in order to get a better understanding, of course, also of this video, please check out my Queen's Game Decline series uh, from the beginning and also with some ideas of the Cambridge Spring defense and also about this Alaska defense. So here's the link of our whole playlist. Check it out. As I said, everything is for free. You don't need to be a member or something. Just watch the series and have a great preparation of the Queen's Game Decline. So see you soon with some more videos and what to say. Chess is the best, of course.